Well, three days after the horrific murder of two girls from York County, complete strangers had paid their respects at the crash site just over the state line in Smithsburg, Maryland. Daniel Hamburg was there tonight and joins us now with more. Daniel. Well, Janelle and Mark, the search for Amina and Gianna Vacosa came to an end on Thursday when their father, Robert Vacosa, shot and killed his daughters, his accomplice, and then himself. The car they were crashed, they were in, crashed just five minutes from Waynesboro. At the site of the gruesome end to the lives of two little girls, the Waynesboro community gathered to remember Amina and Gianna Vacosa. This evening we light our candles in honor of Amina and Gianna so that those who love them and those who are shaken by the violent acts taken against these girls may heal. For some, it's hard to put their thoughts into words. I cannot imagine for the life of me how a father can, can do that to his children. I, ju I just really grieve for mom. Marla Jack has been to the crash site several times to pay her respects. I'm not rich by worldly means, but I feel I have a heart that I can give to anyone, whether they know me or not. And this is the least I can do. For Kimberly Knott, it was a scary situation on Thursday. I got emails from the school, calls from the daycare about everybody being on lockdown. So my first thought was to start calling and figuring out what exactly was going on in our community. And then um, once I was informed exactly what was going on, my heart kind of sank. It's why she organized this vigil, holding her own seven-year-old daughter tight, the same age Gianna was. It did happen right outside Waynesboro, um, so close to home, only within like five minutes of my house. So I just thought that we just all come together and just show our love and support to the family. We may not be part of her community where, wherever she lives, but you know, we're still part of this community as a nation. And we let her know that like we're here, we're praying for her. And I'm told the owner of the business where the crash happened respects the community's mourning. So the memorial will be up most likely through the holidays, but they do have repairs they need to make. In the newsroom, in the studio, Daniel Hamburg, ABC 27 News.